This video is done by Sunbeam Sting. He is the creator of this free interaction. Please enjoy or I shall have to go to your house and eat you. Thank you. <laughs> so years ago, a friend of mine said, watch on YouTube online. So take out the code of 99. Now he's a friend of mine. <laughs> Run the MC, do a Cardis Man and throw. Get a message, they go with the flow. Yo, it's Cardis Man back in action once again on the YouTube Teletoon. Scoo don't matter, it's here, it's there, it's everywhere. Cardis Man brings you hope. To all the good people out there that there's going to be a nice little video to enjoy. And hopefully you will like. If not, well, the end of the world uh, can happen. <laughs> so yeah, this week is a short week. Uh, I got, what, five comics? Five comics. Not big week. But I got some other things. I got a pop and I got a eBay purchase CGC. So I'll show you that there right now. So I'll start out with the fade out. So Ed Brubaker, uh, number five. Uh, it has been about two months since we got number four, I think. And the last time we knew uh, was that the Scarlet, or the woman that was uh, filming the star, got killed. And we don't know what happened that she got killed, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the the writer is basically finding out who's who did it, and so it's a very good, interesting story from the 1940s. I like it. It's pretty cool. I think the volume one is out for uh, the trade, so if you guys want to read the trade and jump onto this, it's a really good one. A lot of people are reading this, so yeah. Fade out. Superior Iron Man. Here we see Pepper on uh, on uh, Iron Man. But uh, what happens and what's happening right now is that uh, Pepper has brought in basically Tony Stark's um, memories from eight years ago um, that was saved in a hard drive, and they're trying to reboot. They're going to try to reboot Tony, so and to bring him back to normal. But it's magic, so I don't know if that's going to work or not. But we see that Pepper is trying to take this. This never happens. I don't know why they draw that. So, but whatever. Um, the symbiote, uh, as we know, the symbiote is you can't kill those things, and they don't need oxygen. So I don't. They didn't really calculate that well that going into space would kill the symbiote because obviously Carnage stayed in the they what five six years uh, in the orbit of Earth, uh, keeping uh, Cletus Cassidy on life support for. Um, four or five years, five, six years, long time, but it's a good story, I like it, on to Convergence, uh, three titles this week, uh, last week I had got a Flash, um, Batman and Robin, and which one else did I get last week, I don't even remember, Who knows what we got? Batman uh, and Robin. Harley Quinn. And Harley Quinn was really good. I thought it was really good. Uh, seeing that Harley Quinn, uh, they're giving her back her uh, powers that Poison, I ha Poison Ivy had given her that gives her strength and everything like that. Because Harley Quinn has to fight against um, the, the powerful... Uh, the powerful... Uh, team there to to win so uh, captain carrot or something like that huh <laughs> but um yeah should be good this week i got uh supergirl and matrix so hopefully this will be good as well the, the thing is with convergent is pretty cool is they, sh they show a city they show some superheroes for one year that have had no powers then and then all of a sudden boom the powers come back and bang they're up against another city right away there's no time to talk. There's no time to prepare or anything like that. The fight just starts right like that. And that's the friggin' thing I think that's pretty bad that's happened. 
So yeah, so I got Supergirl. I got Suicide Squad because I love the team that was in there. I love, I like the team, especially Bane. I want to see that, and I want to see the 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 Superman, the robot Superman. So that should be cool. Deadshot, that's pretty cool. And the last book I got because uh, it's my favorite. I'm a, I'm a Green Lantern fan, so uh, yeah, Green Lantern and uh, the Paradox. So and what I liked about this as well. Uh, parallel, parallax, paradox, parallax, parallax, parallax. Uh, I was reading this on USA Today yesterday, and they were explaining the story, and it's pretty, pretty cool. So we're gonna see back again uh, Kyle in the storyline as a new Green Lantern, and then Hal Jordan as a bad guy, and he's in jail and stuff like that. And we're gonna see what happens when they both get their powers back, and what's gonna happen. So yeah, thank God that he has his ring. And then he's going to get his powers back. Uh, too bad there's no... Uh, uh, um, uh, star, uh, too bad that there's no uh, Starfleets. Because Starfleets is an orange lantern that would basically be able to kill anything in the universe. And uh, Kyle is a white lantern, so too bad they don't get him as well. But we're going to see Kyle as the er early when he was uh, a, a green lantern. So yeah. Go Penguins, go! Shout out to uh, Adam Day. Hey Adam, what's up? Good buddy. Um, you've always been supporting me and always been talking to, about my stuff and everything. Appreciate that. Appreciate anybody that talks about me or has sh shouted at me out. But uh, I'm giving a shout out to Adam Day today. He's a good guy. Go check his videos. I'm going to put a link. I like his videos. They're honest and he says it the way it is and there's no preparation whatsoever. He just does it. That's the way to do it. Uh, I got a pop this week. Do, 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 Nebula! Nebula! The evil sister or the evil daughter of Thanos. Yep. So I got her. I was supposed to get Thanos today as well, but I didn't. So I don't know what's happening with that. And the last thing that I got, that I ordered from eBay, and I'm um, um, E.T. Nick, E.T. Nick, E.T. E Nick, E.T. Nick, E.T. Nick, uh, gave me some help on this one. Um, I asked him what would, would be the best purchase to buy on eBay if you had the money doing nothing there. I had money on eBay, and uh, I didn't, haven't been using it, and uh, wanted to buy something big. I uh, wanted to buy a key issue, uh, but he helped me out with um, basically a blue chip issue. I already got one of these, by the way. I already got it signed by Stanley. Already signed by McFarlane. But I wanted to have another one that was just basically for an investment purpose only. That's it, you know, because I already have one. So I wanted to have this and say, oh, I have it. And when the movie comes out, if it goes up and everything, trade it with friends or something or anything. So do you guys have a clue? If I show you the back of it, does it give you a hint? I'm pretty sure it does. Because this is a pretty powerful backing of the of the, the, the comic book itself. It's in Mylar already. So, yeah. But, um... Amazing Spider-Man uh, 300, 9.6, first appearance of uh, Venom. Yep, and it's uh, the Canadian version, which is the variant, which is the newsstand. Which is really rare. You don't see this, this in this condition. Uh, 9.6. Can't go wrong. So yeah. I got it just for investment purpose. I already got a 9.6. Uh, signed by McFarlane and Stanley. So that's it guys. Uh, anything. Any questions. Anything at all. Let me know. Put it down here. Uh, if you don't like it. Thumbs down. If you like it. Thumbs up. Uh, other than that. That's it guys. Uh, have a great week. And uh, hopefully have some good videos to watch and everything will be okay. And um, that's it. Yo, Carnage Man out.